Miss Adventures of a Foodie. I'm Ari and I blog over at Ari's Menu. Today we've got a couple of fun Super Bowl dishes to share with you. I'm going to be making a beer cocktail. And I'm going to be making a healthy buffalo chicken dip. So to start off, I shredded two chicken breasts from just a rotisserie chicken. I'm going to dump that right into my pot. And I have reduced fat sharp cheddar cheese. Throw that in there. And I have some reduced fat cream cheese. And I have some non-fat plain Greek yogurt. This serves the purpose of substituting part of the cream cheese and in place of a fattening ranch dressing. It adds some protein to it to keep you full during the Super Bowl because there's not a lot of meals usually. And it cuts a lot of the calories and fat. Okay, so next I'm going to add some ranch seasoning. This is again to help with the Greek yogurt to replace the ranch dressing. And you can make your own, like this fancy girl over here. Or you can buy it at the store, whatever is easier for you. Just dump that in there too. And then we have the most important ingredient, which is the buffalo sauce because it's buffalo chicken dip. And you don't have to, but I strongly suggest you use Frank's Red Hot and not anything else because it's just the most delicious. So I'm just gonna dump that in there. It's my favorite too. It's the best part. Give it a little stir. So Ari, what are your plans for the Super Bowl? Well, I don't really prefer the Super Bowl, Nicole, because it always falls around my birthday and then everyone's all excited about the Super Bowl and not my birthday. I'm sorry. What are your plans? Uh, we're probably going to have a party, so I'm guessing you probably don't want to come. No, I'm going to be <laughs> celebrating my birth and turning 28. Oh, I'm getting old. Make me a drink. <laughs> well, I'll do just that. Uh, first, you want to start with a chilled glass. And we are going to use a Blue Moon. And I like, this is my favorite wheat beer. I just like it best. Um, but you can use whatever you have on hand. And a really good tip for pouring beer into a glass, you're going to want to create an angle. The better the angle, the less foam you're going to have. Nobody likes a foamy beer. It's true. We're going to be adding all kinds of good stuff to this, so we definitely don't want it to be foamy. All right. And then next we are going to add a citrus flavored vodka. Um, I'm using the Sky one. I, this is actually the first time I've ever tried it, and it's really good. It smells delicious. It smells just like fresh citrus. We're going to do one full shot of that. It's a little there. And then a half a shot of Grand Marnier. It does smell like citrus. I yeah. smell it. It's pretty good, huh? I like it. So I have a shot of Grand Marnier. Um, I make my own, but you can definitely use a store-bought one or any other orange liqueur that you like. Something like triple sec would work. And then we have a quarter of a cup of fresh squeezed orange juice. And we'll give that a little stir. And of course, garnish with an orange slice. And there we go. Here is the beer cocktail. So after about 15 minutes of heating your dip on the stove and stirring occasionally, it'll be just about ready to plate and serve. Okay, so now we're ready to serve our buffalo chicken dip. You just dump it all into your serving dish. Don't leave any behind. No. That's blasphemy. <laughs> so then you can make it look pretty. Get it all smooth, and once you have it all in, you're going to sprinkle the top with crumbled blue cheese. If you're one of those weird people that hates blue cheese, you can skip this step. But I really love it, so you're just going to put a little on the top there. Nothing crazy. And then we are serving ours with veggies, with celery and carrots to keep it light. If you want, or if you have like people who don't really love vegetables coming to your party, you can buy chips, whatever you want. You ready to taste? Yeah, definitely. Jumping right in. Um, just a forewarning, there might be a lot of crunching sounds. If you're really horrified, don't worry, you can drink afterwards. We're going to. Oh yeah, I'm going to. I can't get any out my celery. There we go. Or you can't even tell that there's Greek yogurt in this instead of French. It tastes perfect. I love the spiciness of it. Thank you. I like it too. Let's drink. Cheers. Cheers. 
Well, that's delicious. It's so refreshing. That has a little kick. Oh, yeah. Well, you know I like my alcohol. It's true. true. Well, thanks for joining us. We hope that you guys uh, make some of these recipes and have a good time at the Super Bowl. And don't forget while you're watching the Super Bowl to celebrate my birthday. Thank you.